Well, it's the summer of 91. I'm going into seventh grade. And guess what time it is? It's time to go school shopping. My mom would take me and my sister to Pennsylvania to go school shopping. Why? Because it was tax-free. You can get clothes tax-free. So every summer we go to Pennsylvania to get clothes. So it's summer of 91. It's time to get a winter jacket. And I wanted something so bad, but they were expensive. And I was like, oh, is mom going to let me get it? Would she let me get it? What'd she let me get? This right here. This starter jacket. The Chicago Bulls starter jacket. 33 years old. Still fits like a glove. It's lasted all this time. It's lasted through girlfriends. It's lasted through moving. It's lasted through sled riding. It's lasted through everything. Still got still practically brand new. Money well spent. Wouldn't you say? For sure. But it was like $150 back in 1991. So that's a lot of money back then. Still a lot of money today, but it'd probably be $350 today if this they came out with this jacket today. And so it's just amazing how this thing is so well made. It's lasted all this time and still fits. And uh, so I wore this all through junior high. A lot of people had Raiders, Raiders jackets and bulls jackets and and so if you had one of these you were you were cool at least you thought you were cool and then 10th grade come guess what summertime came time to go school shopping again so i had to do an upgrade and so i was in pennsylvania they had different kind of jackets over there in pennsylvania instead of west virginia so in pennsylvania i, I bought me a penn state jacket reversible Inside and out, reversible. Still brand new, still fits like a glove. So it was expensive to get. And so it took some faith to say, it's going to last. It's going to last him a long time. He won't outgrow it. It's going to work for him. But she had, my mom had to buy it and see if it worked. And she did. And it's worked. And so she could say, now, oh, yeah, that was worth the money. Look, 33 years later, he's still got a winter jacket if he, if he needs it. And so when it comes to, to, to Christianity, what's the Lord saying to you? What's the Lord saying to you? And, you know, Psalm 34 eight says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts him. And so it took trust from a mom to buy, to spend her hard-earned money, on these, on these jackets that it would keep him warm. You got to trust the Lord and taste and say, come into my life, taste him. And when you taste him, then you're going to, guess what you're going to do? You're going to see that the Lord is good until you taste him, until you let him in your life. You'll, you'll never know. You'll never know what life is going to be like with God. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't kind of check it out. You can't watch from a distance and see if it's worth it. You got to be all in. It's a, it's a step of faith. It's all in. When you do that, guess what the scripture says? Blesses a man who trusts him. Another good verse is John chapter 30. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. So that means you got to taste him, let him in, let him change your life. Be born again, and then you're going to see the kingdom. You're going to see him. You're going to, you're going to see the blessed life and trust in him. So it's 33 years later. The jacket still fits. And for me, you know, at 15, a life-changing moment came for me when I was born again. And so, man, I just put on that, that jacket of faith that Jesus Christ and my life has never been the same. It's been good. I've tasted and seen it. It's been a great Walk in the Lord. And that's what Jesus wants to say. Look, taste and see. I'll be good to you. Through it all, I'm good to you. How's he good to you? He's with you. You're never alone through thick and thin. He's with you. Summer of 91. 